In today's big interview, we are joined by Tlubi Mboya, actress and entrepreneur and the co-founder of Future CEOs. Welcome, Tlubi. Finally, I'm on the couch, finally. <laughs> Hi, Nola, thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. We're very happy that you're here. And so I'll get straight into it. Okay. The first time we saw you in South Africa was on the TV screens, and now you're leading the entrepreneurial discussion in the country. Where did your journey begin? I'm not sure about the description of leading. I, you know what? As my parents did warn me when I wanted to get into the craft of arts, that it's a fickle industry, that it's unstable, that could you really make a full-time career out of it? And at 38 years old, I had to make a firm decision whereby I wanted to leave a legacy. I wanted young black African girls to know that they can do whatever they wanted to do, they can fulfill their dreams, but it's about paying the bills. It's about having a will. It's about being able to have a full family and having those medical aids and benefits and going on international holidays if you want to. But also you want to add value to society. And as artists, we do that. But I think the space of entrepreneurship is so dynamic in South Africa and especially on the continent. And it allows you to be creative and it allows you to add value to the community. And what I'm really enjoying about it is that you have to be an asset. You have to, you have to stand out. You have to be different from everybody else. So I think being an artist and an entrepreneur goes hand in hand, but at the same time, they're very, very different aspects of society. Well, I love that you painted the whole picture of in the end, people's bills have to be paid. Yeah. And so my question to you be, knowing in South Africa how so many people have to work full-time jobs and start their businesses or their passion projects, as we'd often say, on the side. Yeah. How did that happen for you? How, knowing that you were on TV and you had that role, which meant rehearsals, going to studio, it just took time. I often describe myself as a freelance everything because we often have guests on future CEOs who say that should they stay in their, their, their main jobs and go into the entrepreneurial space or should they just jump into it? And we always find the answers from the great CBOs that we've had on our show, all two, more than 200 of them, they always give the advice that don't leave your full-time job all at once, you know? I mean, take calculated risks, be assertive, show an, an initiative, but always have something to fall back on. And I think that's so important. I think that it's great to have a great idea. It's great to implement and execute that great idea. But I think you've got to be smart about it. I think it's all about timing. And it's also about testing the market. You know what I mean? And it's about having a great support structure to do that. So I think you need a lot of mentorship. You need a lot of guidance. And you need a vision to do the product that you want to do and sell the service that you want to do. And you also want to make a profit out of it as well. So I think in the, in the full, bigger scheme of things, you want to make a difference. You want to make a change. You want to be unique. But at the same time, you do want to make a profit. That's so great. You alluded to two important things, what? which has been mentioned throughout many successful people's lives, is mentorship and guidance. Yeah. And so what about the person sitting at home who's sitting and going, I don't know a business owner around me. I don't know an entrepreneur. I don't know a CEO. Who's going to guide me? What advice would you have for them in terms of moving forward and trying to find the right mentorship to really move forward That's in life? That's such a great question. You know, there's no such thing as one mentor, I believe. And a lot of CEOs have said that. They have different mentors for different things. And just as a motivational speaker, and I want to be life coach, I always say to young girls or people in my space or people battling and in the struggle of should I do this? You know, is this my calling? Is this my purpose? Is that a mentor is somebody who inspires you, who takes you under their wing. You've got a really a personal relationship mm -hmm. with that somebody. And what I love about mentorship is that that person doesn't feel that you owe them anything. It's about the journey that they're going through and you actually want to have a couple of different mentors in your life for different situations. It's not necessarily an entrepreneurial thing. Sometimes it can be a financial decision. Sometimes it can be a personal thing. Sometimes it can be a family matter which affects the business. So you wanna have different mentors for different aspects of your life. But the beautiful thing of a mentor is that they believe that it's their free will and their purpose to guide you and help you. And you know what, it's about through their own experience that they're guiding you. So I think it's, a, it's, it's such a beautiful relationship and it's one that it's, 
it's a two-way street. It's about the mentor wanting to give you that help freely and with love and with purpose, but also you going to them because you know that they've walked the path with integrity and with honesty. These are such great insights. That's Lubin Boyer, co-founder of Future CEOs, and this is The Big Interview.